So in the previous video, we talked about radians and how to convert radians to degrees and degrees to radians. Now here's an alternate definition to of, of radians. So uh, we talked in the previous one that uh, radian um, is basically equal to the arc length, okay, of some sort of circle. So a uh, particular radian is just equal to the, how much arc length is on that particular sector that you're kind of breaking apart, or well, not the sector, but the, the length. Um, so um, a way that we can kind of do it is uh, there is a formula that relates all of these guys to them. So basically, um, theta, or the angle, the central angle, is equal to s over r. Here, s is what we're going to call the arc length. And here, r is what we're going to call the radius. Okay, theta is just the angle in radians. Okay, so um, here is basically the formula. So if I want to know what actually the radiance is, all I got to do is just take the, the S value or arc length divided by R. And notice that if R is equal to 1, then the theta value is equal to the arc length, which is basically the definition of the radiance. Okay, um, now you have this formula. Um, notice that I can also solve for S by multiplying by R. So we have R, oh, not R, <laughs> S is equal to r theta. These formulas are exactly the same. So basically what the first one is talking about is you want to find the angle. If you want to find theta, this is the formula that you want to use. If you want to find the arc length, then you want to use that second formula. So I'm going to write here number one and number two. Okay. So let's do a couple problems to kind of just understand um, how to do um, problems of this kind. So we have a 15 inch pendulum. Uh, swings through an or angle of pi over 9 radians. So find the length of the arc through which it swings. Okay, so let's first start by drawing a picture. So um, let's say you have this pendulum. Okay, and basically what it's doing is just swinging back and forth. Whoops. So it's just swinging and when it swings it's kind of making like this little thing. So if I'm swinging it from one side to the other, this is kind of what it looks like. Okay, so uh, we know that this pendulum is 15, um, 15 inches long. Okay, it's swinging and basically the angle that it makes here is going to be pi over 9. Okay, that's what it is. So what we want to figure out is find the length of the arc through which it swings. So we want to figure out this guy, which is S. Okay, so if we figure, if we look at, and this is an S, not a 5, <laughs> S, maybe make my S's like this, I don't know. Okay, so uh, since we want to find the arc length, which formula would be the best one to use, number 1 or number 2? Well, number 2, because we are looking for the arc length. So we have to use S is equal to R theta, okay? So in this case, our radius of this particular pendulum is going to be whatever this thing, uh, however long it is. Because if you think about it, if I were to swing this all the way around, it'll form a circle. And this is just going to be the center of this particular circle, which is 15 inches. Okay, so um, R in this case is going to be 15. Theta is going to be pi over 9. Okay, and I put this in my calculator and I'm going to get 5 pi over 3. Okay, now you have to be very careful because this problem or this answer right here is what we call the exact answer. So if I ask you for the exact answer, this is what I want. I want it in terms of pi, not a decimal. If I were to put it in my calculator and, and write it as a decimal, it would be 5.236. Okay, this is what we call the approximation. Okay, so there's a difference. So make sure that when you look at the problem, if I want the exact length or do I want the approximation? Okay, and if you're not sure, then you can just ask me and I can let you know which one is the one that you should use. Okay, all right, so now let's do another problem. The distance along the surface of the earth between New York City and Paris is 3,600 miles. So if the earth's radius is 4,000 miles, find the central angle. Okay, so basically, what are we really looking for, even if we don't want to write a picture? So um, you can see that we're looking for the central angle. Okay, so the central angle in this case is going to be theta. So if we go back up, theta is going to be s over r. Okay, so theta equals s over r. Okay, this s is going to be the length 
okay? In this case, the length is basically the distance between these two pairs, which is going to be 3,600, divided by the radius, which is going to be the Earth's radius, is 4,000, okay? And when I put this in my calculator, I'm going to get 0.9. And this is in radians. So this is radians. Again, you don't need to write radians if you don't need to, but if you want to, this is fine. But um, because 0.9 is not in terms of pi, you might want to write radians anyways. Um, now, notice I didn't draw a picture. I could have if I wanted to. If I knew that this was the Earth, okay? If this, uh, yeah, well, we're drawing the Earth is going to be three dimensional. So if this is the Earth, okay? Notice that from one state to the other, maybe this is New York City to Paris, you can see that that's going to be the arc length. The center is right there, and you want to figure out what this angle is. So if you kind of have a little bit of a perspective, you can kind of see that this is basically what the, uh, what this formula is. So, um, and usually these questions, they are very straight up with what the distance, radius, find central angle, and you should be very easy to pick, figure out which is going to be the formula that you need. So um, that's for these uh, for these types. Um, it's just a very different way to define um, a radius. I'm sorry, a, a radian um, in terms of arc length and radius.